What's the damn deal, family? Back again, that boy can cook. And if you watched the last video on the homestyle homemade meatloaf, I told y'all to look out for the second video, which is going to be the meatloaf brown gravy for that meatloaf. Don't forget, people, like, comment, subscribe. And once again, I want to thank all my subscribers for subscribing to me, for dealing with me, for watching me, for supporting me. Really appreciate it, my people. And don't forget, y'all, check out Kingdom Barbecue Mrs. O. Once again, I'm going to keep putting it out there because that lady got some fire dishes. So, we're going to run over these ingredients real quick. And it, it, it's simple. It's a simple little mix. We're going to mix up the gravy, get it thick, wait till the meatloaf come out, pour it on that boy. And we're going to have us some good old-fashioned gravy, baby. In a minute, y'all. All right, family, real quick. Let's run over these ingredients for this brown meatloaf gravy. All right, first of all, I got two cups of beef broth. I got two tablespoons of cornstarch. That's going to thicken it up. I have two tablespoons of butter. I have a half of a tablespoon of garlic powder. And I have four tablespoons of water. And I also got black pepper to taste. And of course a whisk, so we can whisk it and get it ready, get it thick. Get that gravy to be in gravy, like it's supposed to be, y'all. All righty, now let's start this. We'll be right back. We're gonna start this meatloaf gravy, y'all. All right, we're gonna add our two cups of beef broth. To a pot on the stove. All right, we're gonna add our garlic powder. All right, then we're gonna add our four teaspoons, tablespoons of water. I'm sorry about that, people. And we're gonna add our butter. All righty, then we're gonna give this a whisk. We're gonna let the butter melt, and we're just gonna let it work. I'm just gonna let it work. All right, so while this is working, I'm going to I'm, go, I'm going to come back and show y'all when we need to add the cornstarch and show you how it thickens it up. So just bear with me, y'all. Let me get this to going, get this to working like I needed to. Let me let this butter melt in here. There we go, and we'll be right back. When we get ready to thicken this, this gravy up, y'all, in a minute. All right, family. We got this ready. Let me turn it down a little bit. All right, and what we're going to do with the two tablespoons of cornstarch is we're going to add those four tablespoons of water, cold water. We're going to add the cornstarch. Then we're just going to give it a mix. Get all the cornstarch broke down in there and get it all mixed in. And then we're going to add it to our gravy. And that's going to thicken it up. Alright. Alright, people. Let's see what we we got. I don't need to move this off of the heat. The stove be going crazy sometimes, people. All right. Now, we're going to take our cornstarch and water mix and just add it in there. Place it back on the stove. And just give it a whisk. Keep whisking until it thickens up. And it will thicken up for you guys. Make a nice little brown gravy. Make little brown gravy. There we go. Give me, give me some more heat. All right. There we go, y'all. I mean, it's just that simple. It's just that simple. All right. 
Let me get a spoon so y'all can see it. Me. Let it thicken up just a little bit more. And I'll clean this little station up real quick, y'all. gotta keep our kitchen clean family we always we always have to there we go all right we working y'all we working yeah there we go it's getting thick you don't want it too thick you still want it somewhat loose you don't want it just you know all thick Thicker than a snicker, you know what I mean? All right, and of course, family, you know what we have to do? We have to taste it. So let's get a stir. And just make sure it's on the spoon. Let it coat the spoon. It's me, little gravy, y'all. There it is, right there. There we go. All right, now we work. I don't know if y'all can see that. Let me let the steam go away. We'll just keep on and keep on. Yeah, we're trying to give y'all a view without tilting it over. But there it is right there, y'all. That's a homemade brown meat roll gravy. Yes. There it is. All right, family. And the next time you'll see this gravy is when it's being paired with the meatloaf we made. So don't forget, like, comment, subscribe to Yeah, That Boy Can Cook. All day, every day, y'all. Till the next time, that boy can cook. Out the place, out your face, I'm gone.